How's it guys? So today we're exploring the market here at Vic Yards in Johannesburg. First Sunday of the month, uh, so they've got the big market, there's some food stalls out here. So we'll just show you today what it's like. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll do a bit of a walk around here for you today. Anyway guys, let's go and look what it's like. As you can see, you've got some swarmers. Nice falafels. And then you've got Impy Brewery. Impy Brewery. They've got some nice pizzas here. And they've got some nice homegrown homemade beer here. Yeah. Let's start by getting some more information about tours in Johannesburg. So we are based here in Pointer, so we do tours, um, events and experiences. So if you look at here, this section of the 51st floor, that's our venue. Yeah, so mostly we do walking tours. We do, this is the, the stairs event. We have a hill, uh, urban hike that starts from here, okay. up the Dorfantem Bridge. And then we have Ponte experience which is just a tour of Ponte and then there's a hill pro tour which is a walk through hill pro hill pro tour. Yeah. okay where does the name come from the name also oh, name is Zulu Zalanje Zulu for just play so okay. we have a community center so most of the reasons why we actually do tours is because of the community center we have at the bottom of Ponte so we do okay. tours as a way to raise money to fund our center so we currently, so most of the stuff that we do, we do it for the kids. If you really want to have an experience in Johannesburg, contact these guys. You'll see the link in the description below. They'll be able to give you a personalized experience of Johannesburg. And you can see the real Johannesburg, not what you see in the media or anything like that. Anyway, guys, let's continue. There's quite a few art galleries and art installations around at Vic Yards. So plenty to explore and to see. There's really some, some talented artists over here that you can come and see um, their work and explore. As you can see, the, the guys applying their trade as we go along. These are A4 acrylic on paper paintings done by Siamenda, which you can these are, you can create your own beautiful collage. So we each and every five years, when you come from our city or street, where it comes in different shades, but it's the same concept. Okay. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see what plant this is or know what plant it is. Comment in the link below if you can see what is growing wildly here. Yeah? Um, there's got a mixture of um, art and maybe what you can call crafts, um, African arts, African crafts. Take you into one of the African art and curio stores, all handmade products by local artists. So if you really want some nice African art, this is a place to come and explore. Okay. So here at Vic Yards, they've also got a community garden 
where they've got all sorts of vegetables um, growing and some of the community members that help and assist with this then benefit from the produce. Um, here we go. As you can see. And they are dog friendly. A little puppy. So, another art studio. If you're an art lover, it really is a nice place to come and explore on a Sunday um, afternoon, especially the first Sunday of every month. They've got like an open day, so most of the places are then open during the day on a Sunday. So, really nice to come and explore. an expanding project as you can see there's some buildings that haven't been occupied yet it really is an interesting concept the guys really are doing a good job here Hi. so we're here with Simone hi Hello. <laughs> this is Simone she's one of the artists that's here at um, Vic Yard <laughs> so I'm an abstract oil painter okay. and I work a lot in gold leaf and silver leaf too all right yeah. nice and how did you get to come and work here? So well, how did you have your studio here at Vic Yards? I so had it's... a studio down the road at Ellis House, okay. and then Vic Yards started up about two years ago, and I got in last year. Last year, so, okay. So I've been here for a year. Yeah, because it's quite an interesting project seeing all the um, yeah. collection of artists in there. And it's lovely because you, you, know, you have that community of artists, yeah. so you can also feed off each other's ideas, and it's a lovely okay. community. Community to be, to be social. Okay, yeah. Isolated. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go, guys. This is Simone's studio. And now we have reached the actual market. So every first Sunday of the month, they run a little crafts market here now. You might have seen this building in one of my previous um, videos where I attempted to make an abandoned building video. This is that same building now being used as a market space. As you can see, plenty of to choose from fresh produce, Absolutely. Rafael we was desperately ill and she found the more she ate vegetables, the stronger she got. Look at her, she's looking amazing. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great stuff guys. So tell me if you guys are not here at the market, where else can people get hold we of are you? Just around here, opposite Nando's. Opposite Number Nando's. Okay. At the social development. That's where we are. Okay. It's a huge I'm also, I'm also called prices. Fifi Veggie Pharmacy. That's how people call me. Fifi Veggie Pharmacy. The idea is to heal people because people need to know that food is medicine. Medicine. Yes. Okay. The more you eat well, you don't get sick. The more you eat junky, you get sick. It's tough. Thank you very much for, for that, guys. Thank you. Thank you. O seven one seven eight one nine one nine four Refilwe Mulefi Bambelani Vegetable Growing. Yeah. Here we go, guys. If you want the contact details, there we go. Hey guys, so like I said to you, this is now the market section. It's also some local crafts 
uh, and arts that happens here, but there's also some food. And as you just saw, the lady we met who, who does the um, juices. Okay, guys, we with another one of the local artists here. He's one of the guys who does the weaving here. As you can see, he's got a little setup here. This is the products that yeah. he does. Real good quality. So how did you start with um, this weaving business? When you fall yourself into a victim of poverty, your creativity mindset must, you know, erupt in you. But you need to be creative. If you know how to put food in your mouth, where does the food come from? And how did you come to work here, or how did you come to get your business here at Vic, Vic Yards? Uh, I've been a teacher in a classroom for more than 20 years. Okay. And when I saw that things are not working the way I wanted, I created this to teach the children in the school. This and is I was published in the newspaper, and I get connected to Victoria. There we go. Thank you very much. See you guys are sitting having picnics out here. It's getting a lot busier now because we're more getting into the afternoon, so people are going to come around now to get themselves some lunch and have something to drink and things like that. There is also a glass um, blowing studio here that you can come and see some glass blowing, and of course, we've got entertainment. Um, it's quite a jazzy afternoon here. Guys, there's really so much to explore. There's some homemade ice cream stores and all sorts of you can see guys applying their trade. Time for some lemonade. We are thirsty so we're gonna get something to drink. Some lemonade there. Strong but nice. Tasting is free, you know? I can do it. Everything is made from scratch by me and Mother Nature. The mix is from my garden. One of the other favorites here is the fish and chip shop. It really is one of the special specialities here. So if you're in the area, come and try the fish and chip shop. Okay, well there we go guys, we've collected our fish and chips, so I think that's where we're going to leave the video today. Uh, thank you for exploring Victoria Yards with us today. If you like the video and you want to see more of this kind of videos, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and always remember, keep exploring!